All right. So the ones on your left are Jin Lin Hua and Lian Qiao, Lanisra flower, and Forsythia. You know, so most of you should know this, like the back of your hand. Okay, because um, for most practitioners, whenever you get, whenever we get sick, uh, in Chao San is generally the first time we take. Okay, so that's fine. It's good for most of the viral and some bacterial infection. It's good as a first line agent. Okay, but if it doesn't work, if it goes farther into the lung, then remember you have to use something else. Okay, another one that works very well that's also commonly used is Long Dan Chao, which is Gentiana. And the associated formula will be Long Dan Xie Gan Tang, Gentiana decoction to drain the liver. So the first two are good for general virus, okay, and also good for oral herpes. And then Long Dan Chao and Long Dan Xie Gan Tang to your right is more effective for genital herpes, okay, and some other conditions that we'll, you know, discuss as we get to the slide. All right, so Jin Lin Hua, okay, is good for clearing heat and also clear heat and eliminate toxins, okay. So as you're going to see, most of the TCM descriptions sound very similar to each other's, right? They all clear heat, they all clear damp heat, they all eliminate toxins. So it's hard to know when to use what. Okay, so again, that's really where pharmacology comes in. That, that helps, all right? So Jin Lin Hua, in this case, when it clears heat, its main function is antiviral effect. Okay, so it has significant antiviral activity against influenza virus and respiratory virus. Okay, Lian Chao also clears heat and eliminates toxins. Okay, in this case, its pharmacological effect is a little bit broader. So it has antibiotic effect, meaning it has antibacterial effect to treat Staphylococcus, Diplococcus, Bacillus, Neisseria, gonorrhea, and so on. It also has some effect ab against the modifieds and also influenza virus. All right. So if you have to put a label on it, it's more antibacterial and less antiviral. But that's good because a lot of time when you start first start out with early phase of Win heat, early phase of Win bing, warm febrile disorder, you may or may not know exactly what's causing it. In some cases, it could be virus. In other cases, it could be bacteria. So if you have a formula like Yin Chao San, then what happens is, somewhat regardless of whether it's a virus infection or bacterial infection, the formula does have herbs that cover both and will help to treat both. Okay. Overall, it's still a little bit more effective for virus infection, but you will also alleviate bacterial infection. All right. The previous slide is a study that it shows effectiveness in 131 out of 138 patients for treatment of common cold and influenza. Okay, and this is an example of using the herb as a nasal installation, right? So they made a solution from the herb and they use it as nasal drops right into the nose. Okay, so not everything has to be decoction. Okay, there are a lot of other options and a lot of solutions. All right, so in Chao San, it's good, like we mentioned, for Wen Bing, warm disease, early onset. It's good for early stage of Wen heat. It's good for your general common cold, influenza, pneumonia, upper respiratory tract infection type of conditions.